January was so long. I swear to God, January, compared to how, how fast just 2017 went, January 2018 went back too damn slow. I don't know what the hell was wrong with the world. It just went back too slow. It's a new month finally. And we're going to be doing something new in February. Starting today. Not starting tomorrow, not starting Monday, starting today. Today is February 1st. And I woke up today like, hmm, February 1st. What can I do? I, I, wanna, I wanna challenge myself. So I said, let's do a 28 day challenge. It's the shortest month of the year, 28 days. We can do it, y'all. So I'm challenging you guys to lose anywhere between 10 and 15 pounds. So for those who Never who who still haven't started my diet. You may seem like that's impossible, but for those who come in on all the videos and send me messages about how much they lost during the diet, you know it's not it's not hard at all. So I challenge. So I'm challenging y'all, and this how we gonna do it. We gonna stick to the diets. A lot of y'all may say, "This girl don't suck at them." No, you can do it. You can lose it. I'm telling you, you can. If you need help on how to do it. Oh, just watch part one, part two, part three, and part four of my weight loss journey. And you can also watch my vlogs because my vlogs have a lot of, um, I answer so many questions in vlogs. I clarify some stuff in my vlogs that's not probably as clarified in my actual weight loss videos. 500 calories a day, no carbs. Um, when I say no carbs, some people be slick in the comments saying stuff like, oh, you know, Fruit is a fruit is a carb vegetable. You know what I mean when I say carbs. Like, stop trying to be smart with me. You know what I mean. So please don't be slick with the the. You know, it's carbs in this, carbs in this. I mean, like carbs, as in like bread, uh, no rice, potato. I slipped, this month I did slip up. I had some potatoes. I'm done with that. Um, no potatoes and stuff like that. I challenge you not to eat after eight o'clock. I challenge you to limit you're going out as in going out for food in the whole month of january i literally only went to get food one time that's my mom wants to go to lunch so bad we went to real robin and i got uh, um the, the vegan patty that they have um like i like i always tell y'all it's better just cook at home especially if you know how to cook you can it, it, home food always is better than going out food i'm sorry i challenge a lot of people who aren't vegan for you carnivores out there why don't you guys cut out the meat just for, just for 28 days it is so easy to cut out meat y'all it's hard to be vegan it's easy to be a vegetarian cut out the meat i'm telling y'all you save yourself calories and it's just better for you and then once the 28 days is over a lot of y'all may be oh i don't even need meat and then turn to a vegetarian incorporate more fruits and vegetables in the diet um a lot more stuff that's been that's more with that that has like health benefits which is i was the easiest way to get more easiest way to get superfoods in your body to me is to do a smoothie that's why you can add the kale and the spinach and turmeric you can add all the superfoods in it and all type of chia seeds flax seed so get the good stuff in your body for february do it the easy way is smoothies if you need if you don't know how like like a girl literally just asked me she don't have time she wanted to do smoothies in the morning time but she said it just be cutting it too close for her leaving for work so all you have to do is get ziploc bags and put what it is and this is put some spinach in there put your frozen whatever in there and put your banana in there avocado and put this and just close it and make those prep them so in the morning time, all you have to do is put that in the blender and add your liquid. Done. Have everything already in the bag. So all you got to do is pour it in the smoothie, in the blender, and there's your smoothie. Boom. Um, I think we can all do it. Um, I want you guys to use the calorie count app in February every day. Put in your calories. See if you do it for a whole 28 days straight. Sometimes I slip up and just forget to enter it. But try to, every time you eat something, put it in there so you can just know. Write down so you can actually see your calories. So far you have the initial um, goal for February. The challenge is to lose 10 to 15 pounds. And so with that, I want you guys to do get active. For those who are just doing a diet, yes, you can lose weight without going to the gym. But going to the gym gives you a whole other type of feeling. It's just a good feeling once you leave the gym. Or like when you leave sore or see yourself sweating, sweating all, all that fat. It feels good. So... If, you're, if you can't get to the gym, I challenge you to do something every night or every morning or whatever one works with your schedule. Um, do stuff you can do at home, whether it's um, 
jumping jacks is one fat burning ass exercise. Let me tell you. So even if you just stand in your damn living room or in your basement or in your room or in the hallway and do jumping jacks or do sit ups or do push ups or do squats. You can do anything like leg lifts, um, standing there doing the wall sits, anything. If you live in an apartment or have some type of gym that's like in wherever you live at, that's probably love. Even if you're if you're at in the dorm, a lot of dorms have just uh, they have like a little gym area in dorms. Please use those resources that you have, especially if it's in arm's reach, to get up and do it. Because when I sometimes I don't make it to the gym. Sometimes I don't go to the gym mainly because it's too damn cold outside. I will admit that. Like today, I could have went to the gym, but I did not go because it's. I just not finna be getting sick. And when I get sick, I get sick. I will be dead for about five days, and then I'll come back to life. I can't. When I get sick, it's bad. So that's why I'm gonna do some um, home workouts. I can actually film a video. I'm gonna film a video of some just stuff you can do at the house with everyday stuff you got lying around the house. That's what I'm gonna do for y'all. I know y'all don't like that. Um, and be nice to somebody. Like what I always do, you know how many times I've been to the store and someone in front of me is buying something and somehow they short or this one guy at Walmart had like quarters, all these like golden, like it was like dollar silver dollars and he paid with that and then all of a sudden like the cold cash, the red cash, the, the register lady was like looking at him funny. I'm just sitting back watching the whole thing. She looking at him funny. She called him all the co-workers. He was a ghetto ass Walmart. And then after he did all that, kind of all that they gonna say oh no we can't take this no we can't take this and this was laughing at him he looked so embarrassed he was like he's like he didn't tell you to have a lot of money and then when he was getting on even them bad and like he was buying like alcohol and shit and shit he literally had socks toothpaste he had some fruit like lunch meat bread he had the basics so what i did of course i just i was like i butted in and was like um, but how much is it? And it was like, oh, it's 37. I said, you can just, I'll pay for it. And it was like, really? Really? I'm like, yeah, I'm doing it. Because I don't like when people, I hate when I get off track and tell these stories, but I hate when people make people feel bad or make people feel like they're belittling people. I don't like that at all. So for February, try to give more and count your blessings more. So when you see the homeless person, don't try in the back of your head say, oh, he probably just gonna use it for drugs or he probably not even homeless. That's not you to that's not for you to put your judgment on or your two cents on. You either gonna give or you're not. The two cents is not necessary. So another challenge for February is to give. Help somebody out. Even if it's just your friend, you guys go out and all of a sudden you say, I got the tab. You don't gotta split the check. Stuff like that. Just you know, just it's, in a, it's, it's gonna make you feel good, and in the long run, you're gonna get your, your blessings gonna start coming. I'm not really that you know spiritual and church goer, but I still do stuff like that. It still feels good. You still get your blessings. I would say my last thing I'm challenging you guys with is to be more comfortable in how you look. Um, 2000 from my. 2017 was a whole different type of everything for me when it comes to my weight loss and what was big for me is with my me not wearing makeup so much when i say i never used to do anything without putting on a full face i just could not do it i did not think i look i did not think i look cute without makeup and i'm so serious i would not leave the house without makeup i don't give a fuck if i was going to target i had to put on a face that's how bad it was y'all so if you are like that now I challenge you for February to, like what I do now, if you see me with makeup, it's probably only on the weekends, if that. I have, I, I've never been, like now, I would just put some brows on and some lip gloss and maybe some glow and call it a damn day. Hey cutie. You wanna catch me like that back in 2016 and early 2017, okay? I hate so. The last thing is to love yourself, even with the pictures that you take. I know so many girls who take their pictures and it's just selfies all the time. You will never see them saying somebody, oh, take my picture, or them standing from a mirror getting the full body picture. Learn to love the skin that you're in. If you're bigger and you feel like the only thing that you want people to see is the face, you don't want people to see everything else i want you to get out of that for february and then maybe once february challenge is over you 
start accepting like okay i am beautiful no matter if i'm big or too skinny i'm too fat you know i'm too tall i'm too short please and then for those people who keep sending me these um oh, i want to start but i just know i can't do it have confidence in yourself 28 days of confidence 28 days of dieting 28 days of doing some type of working out at home 28 days of giving february please challenge yourself it don't even have to be just one challenge that's why i'm giving you multiple challenges you know in the comments what challenge you're gonna do even if it's with like a person like you keep going back to this one guy or this one girl in, 20, in february and for this 28 days show that motherfucker that you you don't mean that much to me now you can be i mean you can be replaced T show somebody that in february okay so whatever your 28 day challenge is if you want to add on to the 28 day challenge for your personal life go ahead and put it in the comments say for february i'm a no social media for all february or i'm turning my phone off at five o'clock get all my homework done and going to bed blah blah blah, blah. February, I'm no longer going to be late for work. I'm going to set time to get up in the morning so I can be work on time. In February, I'm going to be nicer to my mom, nicer to my dad, nicer to my siblings, nicer to my best friend, my boyfriend, my girlfriend. Something. February, be good to us. I know you guys can lose this weight. I know you guys can be that good person. I know you guys can do it. Let's do it together. Like, comment, subscribe to this video. I hope you guys like this video. So this is the challenge for February. You need to move. Come on, sit down. You just have to do that too. Just move, cause chase chain makes noise. Chase, move, move. 